This is a reconstruction of his last conversation with air traffic control. Melbourne, this is Delta Sierra Juliet. Is there any known traffic below 5,000 feet? No known traffic. Seems to be a large aircraft below 5,000 feet. What type of aircraft is it? I cannot confirm. It's four bright, seems to me like landing lights. The aircraft has just passed over me at at least 1,000 feet above. Is there any Air Force aircraft in the vicinity? No known aircraft in the vicinity. Seems to be playing some sort of game. He's flying over me. Well, the Sierra Juliet, it's not an aircraft, it's... Can you describe the, uh, the aircraft? As it's flying past, it's a long shape. I cannot identify it, it has such speed. It's before me right now, Melbourne. How large would the, um, the object be? Seems like it's stationary. What it's doing right now is orbiting. The thing is just orbiting on top of me. It's also got a green light and a sort of metallic, like, it's shiny on the outside. It's just vanished. Is the aircraft still with you? Say again. Is the aircraft still with you? Now approaching from the southwest. The, the engines are rough idling. The thing is coughing. What are your intentions? My intentions are to go to King Island, Melbourne. That strange aircraft's hovering on top of me again. It's hovering and it's not an aircraft. The last words of Frederick Valentich were followed by 17 seconds of a mysterious noise. Those who heard it thought it sounded like something metallic was scraping the side of his plane. Then there was nothing, and the original tape no longer exists. So the mystery may last forever. <laughs>